the big dividends coming out of the energy sector appear to be sustainable. And the reason for this is the energy companies, unlike the past, are taking their free cash, their cash flow, and they're paying it out to shareholders as big dividends. The dividends are very large, but in addition to that, that means that they are not in aggregate growing production like they would have historically when prices have gone up. So they're paying the dividends out, paying their cash out, and the growth of the industry production has been relatively muted. In addition to that, OPEC, uh, OPEC Plus has indicated that they um, really don't have a lot of other production capacity that's available to come online as well. So I think the industry is far tighter than a lot of people believe because of the underinvestment that's been taking place in the industry for years. COVID ended up having a price collapse for the price of crude, and that ended up having a major contraction in the industry, lots of bankruptcies, and you know, capital spending you know, ended up imploding. It has never really fully recovered. Before that, you had the Thanksgiving massacre when OPEC announced that it was going to pump a lot more oil and also crush the stocks. You know, those two events have been very painful um, over the past five years for the energy sector. So we think that the price of crude is unlikely to have a big collapse because of growing production because of the constraints of the industry and the fact that they're utilizing their cash flows and free cash for significant you know, dividends. Uh, just to recap a couple of companies that I like that have you know, taken on this policy. You know, Civitas is now paying a projected 12% dividend yield. Uh, we think that is very attractive. The company has a very good balance sheet. It uh, emerged from bankruptcy and basically wiped out all of its debt um, a couple years ago. So this is a very attractive entity with a 12% yield. Uh, here again, they're paying out most of their cash flow as opposed to you know, exploring and increasing CapEx. Uh, Devon pays an 11% uh, dividend. You know, they have historically been a you know, shale growth mode company. Uh, their CEO has indicated that they're probably going to only try to grow 4 to 5% going forward. Uh, they're not going to go crazy on the growth side, and they're going to pay out a lot of their free cash as dividends. Um, another interesting company uh, that pays a huge dividend currently is uh, Petrobras. Uh, that's the Brazilian uh, company. The symbol is PBR. Uh, the company is very inexpensive and has paid out a 24% dividend uh, if you based it on the last uh, 12 months of payments. So with the oil price spiking, they have paid out a big dividend. Petrobras is higher risk in that you do have the Brazilian government uh, with a controlling interest and you know, dictating what take place at the company. Uh, but uh, one of the reasons the dividend get, did get paid is the Brazilian government wanted the dividends uh, for the government finances. So higher risk, but huge dividend, very inexpensive uh, stock. And they have the uh, pre-salt offshore Brazil uh, concessions uh, that are you know, you know, huge reserves that are going to last for decades. Uh, another company, uh, Chesapeake, slightly lower dividend, looks like something around 7 to 8% on a projected basis. But here again, they're being conservative uh, with their payout. They're not trying to go into a heavy growth mode. Uh, they're a little more natural gas based than some of the other companies. Uh, but here again, paying out the dividend, trying to keep a conservative balance sheet. Uh, Chesapeake actually emerged from bankruptcy. It was one of the companies that did bite the dust and had to restructure and the debt was uh, written off. So here again, this is a company that's of conservatively balance sheet and conservative management going forward, and we like that dividend. And then uh, Pioneer Natural Resources is basically a dividend maximizer as well. They've got a 9.3% dividend. Uh, we think that stock is attractive here at these levels. Um, all these stocks have pulled back from their highs. Uh, there was a significant correction that looks like it's over, and the stocks have started to bounce here you know, the past 10 days or so. But there was a massive correction back in June for these stocks, so there are, these are reasonable entry points. 
But my point is this, the fact that these companies and other companies, the majors, are paying out significant portions of their free cash as dividends, as opposed to increasing production, means that these dividend sustainability is longer and will last longer, and also the price of oil will stay higher than it would have otherwise. I hope you find this information helpful. Uh, please take a look at our website, buildingbenjamins.com, where we send out email alerts and also have a full disclaimer explaining that this is not investment advice. This is only a discussion of what I'm doing for my personal portfolio. Please take a look at buildingbenjamins.com. Thank you for your time.